the Mercedes E-Class Coupe and Cabriolet are getting a visual nip and tuck for 2020, but the real changes are happening under the skin, where owners will benefit from new tech and more efficient engines. Stay tuned as we reveal the highlights. With those sleek looks, coupe and convertible versions of the E-Class were never short on desirability, so we're pleased tweaks have been fairly minor. Highlights are new reshaped LED headlamps, a revised front bumper and grille, and new two-piece tail lights. New paint options include high-tech silver, graphite, grey metallic, Mojave silver, and Patagonia red. Buyers can also choose from a new set of alloy wheels, which Mercedes says are aerodynamically efficient. A range of trims will be available, including the obligatory spicy AMG versions, but more on those later on. Changes are equally evolutionary inside, which is fine by us, as the E-Class has one of the best interiors around, whether it be inside the coupe, cabriolet or saloon. There are new trim options, including trim inserts made from open pore wood or aluminium with light carbon fibre grain dash inserts. There are clever new adaptive seats too, which move automatically to the optimum position for the driver's height. Mercedes has also updated its energizing monitoring system to link to the driver's smartwatch and monitor their stress level, heart rate and quality of sleep, adjusting cabin temperature, lighting and music accordingly. And as before, the cabriolet features the clever air scarf which keeps the occupant's necks warm when the roof is down and air cap which helps to reduce drafts at speed. Don't expect the 2020 E-Class Coupe or Cabriolet to steer or ride much differently from today's model. That means it'll be more of a cruiser than a bruiser, but there are at least some tweaked engines mated to a standard fit 9-speed auto. The engine lineup consists of turbocharged 4- and 6-cylinder petrol and diesel engines with 48-volt mild hybrid technology added to the 4-cylinder diesel lineup and 6-cylinder petrols. The diesel-powered 191 bhp E220D promises 60-odd mpg, while the E400D packs an impressive 700 newton meter punch. For petrol buyers, the E200 is available with rear or four-wheel drive and uses a 194 bhp 2-litre turbocharged four-cylinder engine to cover 0-62 mph in around 7.6 seconds. The rear drive only E300 uses the same engine tuned up to 254 bhp to cut the 0 to 62 mile per hour time to 6.4 seconds, while the four wheel drive E450 has 268 brake horsepower for a 5 second 0 to 62. As we've come to expect, no Mercedes model line is complete without a variant from AMG. Both the E-Class Coupe and Convertible will be joined by E53 4MATIC versions sporting the usual AMG trinkets, a different grille, new exhaust arrangement and carbon fibre trim inside. Of greater appeal is the E53's 3.0-litre inline 6, which has a 48 volt mild hybrid system to improve economy and drivability. Don't think it's lost its performance edge though, Coupe models take just 4.4 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles an hour while the Cabrio manages it in 4.6 seconds. Keeping all that power in check are a host of chassis upgrades, including new autonomous adaptive dampers, a five-channel programmable traction control system, and a set of enormous drilled and vented disc brakes with four piston calipers up front and single piston calipers at the rear. Expect the 2020 E-Class Coupe and Cabriolet to hit showrooms in the autumn, with prices starting from around £46,000 for the Coupe and £48,000 for the Cabriolet. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video.